uh, motion, and I like I like the motion one. When I first when we first got our house 20 years ago here in King George, my wife decided she was going to put the couch in this special spot. And as soon as I walked through the door, the couch was like right here, and I was like, no, no it's not going there. She's like, why not? I said, I am not for the rest of my life going to walk around this couch. So we. That couch now sits against the wall in the back, and I have a clear path to walk through where I want to walk through. But imagine how many times you walk in somewhere over and over, and even something as simple as walking around something like that, you multiply that by 20 years, five trips a day, and it's just, it's a waste. It's probably an overkill on my part, but I do that with almost everything in my life, whether it's laundry, dishes. I look and I'm like, why are we, why? If you add that extra step in anything that you do, you're just you're, you're wasting time that doesn't need to be wasted. And I would prefer to spend my time doing fun things than things that I just have to do because the process is set up that way. Another one is uh, a, in going with the whole motion piece, uh, working with a business in Fredericksburg. And when I walk in, I didn't know anything really about their business at all. But what I did know when I walked in immediately, the hair in the back of my neck was raising up because literally they made a pro they made a bunch of different products. So over here they had their mixers. And I'm watching, and the lady picks the bowl off a big bowl off the mixer. She walks all the way back to so about the distance, maybe a little bit longer, the back back wall there where Mark is. She puts it on the table there. She goes over, she grabs the bin out, and she scoops the stuff out of the bin. She puts it inside the mixer, and then she walks the mixer all the way back. And they got three or four people. It's a small, it's about as big as this room here. She puts it over here. She puts it up on a scale. She weighs it, and then she walks back. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> so I made several different suggestions immediately right there. Uh, one of them was a polka yoki thing, right, um, mistake proofing. They took their product, and they had baking racks where they dried their product. And he was in a hurry, so he took it, and he slid it into the rack, and I watched him. There's only 24 items on it, and he sliced the entire first row, the top of the entire first row, off the top. And I said, I looked at the owner, and I said, does that happen a lot? She goes, yeah, we get a lot of waste. Mm -hmm. So all of those little things, when I made suggestions, she said, you have access to be down here whenever you need to. And what I wound up doing is just kind of observing them for a little while, because they don't know they're doing anything different, but I was just encouraging them, look for spots where you're spending extra time. Like if you're taking something from here, and putting it over here, and then going back, all that motion throughout the day is complete waste. So we redesigned it. She wanted a full drawn out sketch of what I was talking about, and I said, I'm not a full drawn out sketch kind of guy. but. Follow me with a notepad, take that table, put that table right here, and here's why. There's no leg in the bottom, so you can slide those big bins up underneath it. This area becomes your mixing area. This area becomes your pressing area. We'll put it against the window. And if you put it against the window, people who are walking on the street will get to watch how you produce them right there. You can interact with them, and they're more likely then to come walk inside your thing. I wanted, I did, I put a sign out on the window, and the sign said, free watching. <laughs> because from a human nature aspect, when you're sitting in there and you're actually making their product, and every time they would look up, the customer outside would go, feel they were intruding, and they would like, oh, and they would leave. Also, you don't want to establish that relationship with them. But I wanted them to put a sign that turned red, just like Krispy Kreme when the, the donuts are done, so that they could actually draw people over and let them look. That kind of interaction with your customer makes a very loyal customer. So I was able to save them tons of time they uh when two people left they didn't backfill them um and they went through their busy season around christmas time this year they had so much extra time uh, that they didn't have before to be able to do research and development on new products before they were just trying to keep the shelf stock and they couldn't keep the shelf stock in how much extra time and motion they were running around 